Well, the NAU men's basketball team put on quite the show last night against the New Jersey Institute of Technology in the semifinals of the CollegeInsider.com tournament. With a sellout crowd of 5,583 fans packed in the dome, the place was rocking and so were the Jacks. Both teams battled back and forth, but the Jacks made a comeback in the second half, outscoring the Highlanders 42-28. to It was a tie game leading into the last few minutes of the game when Quinton Upshur hit a three that put the Jacks up by three, and there was no looking back. The Jacks went on to defeat NJIT 68-61, and the student body stormed the crowd at that sound of the final buzzer. I had a chance to talk to Coach Murphy earlier today about his expectations of tomorrow's championship game against the University of Evansville. Well, they're really well coached. They're offensively, they're, they're dynamic. They have one of the best scores in the country in DJ Ballantine. Um, uh, they, they, offensively, they can they can hurt you inside or out, and uh, they, they present some challenges because of their size and their, and their athleticism on the wing. We're really going to have to do a good job defending, um, uh, staying disciplined, uh, communicating on defense, and contesting shots because uh, they can score points in a hurry. I mean, Valentin's uh, effectiveness offensively, um, and, and then you know control the control the glass rebounding wise. They're a really good defensive rebounding team. One of our strengths is our offensive rebounding. We have to we have to really uh, utilize that, and, and then attacking the paint. You know, getting to the foul line, playing lumberjack basketball, um, tough defense, uh, control the control the boards, and get to the foul line. Now the University of Evansville Purple Eagles will host the Lumberjacks tomorrow for a 4 p.m. tip-off time. This is the first time that NAU has played into the month of April, and with a championship on the line, the Jacks hope to carry in some of their March magic.